Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here once again with another video on The Flash Season 4. And this is going to be my trailer breakdown or promo trailer breakdown for Episode 7, otherwise entitled, Therefore I Am. But of course, before we get into the rest of the video, let's actually watch the trailer. This guy, he feels more dangerous than all the others combined. You don't believe me. Guys, I'm telling you, he's not what he seems. He's been watching us for weeks. They just filed a complaint, said you harassed him. This guy wants us to think he's unassuming, but he's not. Listen to yourself, Barry. I don't understand why you don't see what's going on. Calm down. I don't want you to do anything else you regret. You broke into our home! Please, we are getting married in a week, Barry. I'll be thinking of you. The Flash, all new this Tuesday at 8, 7 central on The CW. So last episode was a pretty big episode when it comes to the thinker. We had some stuff revealed where, you know, the mechanic was a bit worried at what he was doing, you know, thought that he was just playing things a bit too easily, you know, underestimating Team Flash. And then towards the end of the episode, you know, Team Flash, you know, figure out, oh, it's Clifford DeVoe. That's the DeVoe we've been figuring or searching for, might I say. They go to his house and, well... Uh, Clifford DeVoe looked a bit different, didn't he? He didn't look like the DeVoe we've been hanging out for the first, like, five or six episodes. So that is essentially the setup for this episode where, you know, we're going to learn more about DeVoe as you would have seen from that trailer. But before we get into the breakdown of that trailer, we're going to go over the synopsis as we usually do. But of course, do be sure to let me know in the comments section down below what you're looking forward to most in this episode, as well as any replies or comments you have to opinions I have in this video. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Barry comes face to face with DeVoe. DeVoe's past is revealed through flashbacks. Meanwhile, Iris puts the final touches on the wedding, which is a week away. So the big thing that's happening in this trailer is really that Barry is spying on DeVoe. He's really getting all that stalker feel and sort of like returning the favor because in the opening, you know, portion of this season, ever since we sort of met DeVoe, he's been spying on Team Flash, especially after episode one where the samurai was involved and he was able to get some eyes and ears into Team Flash's headquarters at Star Labs. So it will be interesting to see how bad Barry gets, if that makes sense, like how stalkerish and how spy-filled he gets in this episode in regards to keeping an eye on DeVoe and whether maybe he sets up his own little listening and spying devices in the DeVoe household. Like we do see a shot here of Barry like hiding around a corner with the mechanic standing there. Now we don't know the name of the mechanic in the comics. I think it's just called the mechanic. Now I don't know if she's actually DeVoe's wife. That could be something that they go with. Both of the actors um, that play the mechanic and the thinker are both from South Africa. When she answered the door, I can't remember if she had too much of a South African accent. They might do that because in the promo, if you listen to it, when he talks, it sounds a bit like a South African accent. So they might go with that in this uh, show, in this season that, you know, the thinker and the mechanic are South African. They're married and that's why she's helping him. But the way that they were acting, I don't think that they're, they're actually married. I think she's just like helping him out. She's like his assistant. But we do see Clifford DeVoe actually file a complaint with the police uh, department. So it's going to be interesting to see the relationship between DeVoe and Barry in this episode outside of Barry as the Flash. Because DeVoe knows that Barry's the Flash. Like, it's no mystery there. But Barry is actually the one that's sort of left in the dark. Because he, don't, he doesn't know what DeVoe is up to, really. And, like, how skilled and what powers or what skills uh, Clifford DeVoe has. So Barry's in the dark in this situation. And that's obviously why he's spying on DeVoe. Because... DeVoe has this big like mirage in front of him or this mask that Barry wants to get under and find out what's happening. Now we do see this shot of like this like Japanese poster with a samurai on it. So I don't know if this is meant to be like some evidence towards the samurai, obviously from episode one, because we do see Barry here go to the samurai helmet, lift it up, find the tech and most likely find a hidden camera inside, which once again makes Barry even more suspicious and paranoid of Clifford DeVoe. So I'm not sure if this is just meant to be a hint at the samurai or like, a, you know, a callback to episode one or not, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. But I guess the big thing that's going to be playing out in this episode, and I think it's going to cause a lot of drama in Team Flash, is the fact that no one on Team Flash seems to be believing or trusting Barry in what he is doing. They might think he's just going a bit overboard in regards to targeting this DeVoe, which I guess is understandable because obviously when they've gone to that household, it's just some normal dude. I think the fact that he's in a wheelchair makes it like 20 times worse, but you know, Team Flash should be used to people in wheelchairs, not maybe appearing who they should be, you know, Harrison Wells, which ended up being Eobar Thorne from, uh, from season one, might I say. So they're probably a bit like, hey, just stand off a bit, Barry. Let's just see it play out for a bit. But you can understand why Barry wants to get ahead because he doesn't want to leave it too long and let DeVoe get even further ahead. Because at this moment, DeVoe is ahead. Like DeVoe 
is sort of like predicting what's going to happen. And for the most part, he's predicted pretty damn right. Obviously, Barry doesn't know that at this stage, but Barry himself would be like, you know what? Let's try and get on the threat early and try and stop it as soon as possible, which is basically what happened at the end of last episode. But then they faced that big shock where, well, DeVoe wasn't really who they thought he would be. But speaking of DeVoe, we are going to have DeVoe-centric flashbacks in this episode, which are really exciting. Now, we do see here, like, water floating up, most likely rain. It's a bit hard to tell if this is actually on Earth 1, because one of the theories around DeVoe has been that he's from another Earth, that he could be from, like, Earth 2 or something like that. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see in regards to that, but it does seem like this is around the particle accelerator. There was a shot from another trailer where it did show some, like, protesters, which did call back to season one, episode one, with the Earth One particle accelerator incident, because there were protesters obviously protesting the launch of that particle accelerator. So DeVoe might have been a part of that, or maybe he was just, you know, an innocent bystander who got caught up in it. But we do see a shot of like this headpiece on the floor, which we then do see DeVoe actually pick up and put on. And I don't know what's going on here. I wonder if he's actually going to be struck by lightning. That would actually be pretty interesting. Another thing could be that this could actually be during the Speed Force storm, once again, because all that lightning was coming down, um, because I really haven't related back to that Speed Force storm yet, because that was meant to be, that, that was like the big rumor as to what was like the source of all these new metahumans this season. But obviously we know, we know that the metahuman bus is where all these new metahumans are coming from, from when Barry came out of the Speed Force in episode one. So hopefully they might call back to the Speed Force storm at some stage, whether it be in this episode with a thinker or maybe the crossover because we did see the Speed Force Storm shot pop up in the most recent promo for that. But let me know what you think is going on with DeVoe in these flashbacks. Do you think he gets struck with lightning? What do you think this cap is? Because is it his? Like, why is it randomly on the floor? Like, it's a bit random. This cap sort of does call back to like the original thinker, the original Clifford DeVoe from the comics who did wear like a thinking cap like this. It would be way too corny if they actually had that in the show. Like he wore this around all the time. So this is actually like a nice throwback to the original character from the comics, but we'll have to wait till the actual episode to find out what is actually going on with it. But my favorite line of the actual episode is when DeVoe says, I'll be thinking of you. Like it's such a simple line that he says to Barry, but it just sums up the character. He's called the thinker. I'll be thinking of you. I love it when they do this. It's just like a nice tongue in cheek moment. Something so simple, but it says a lot at the same time because it's not just a play on his name of the thinker, which I don't know if they're actually going to call him the thinker in this season. Like Cisco might make a reference to it. I'm not 100% sure if they're actually going to call him the thinker or not, but it's basically DeVoe just basically making fun of Barry almost like I, you know what I'm up to, but they don't believe you. Like I, I know that you know what I'm up to, but they have no idea and they're not going to believe you at all because at this stage, DeVoe is most likely, you know, filed that complaint about Barry, Barry basically stalking and, you know, borderline harassing them. So, you know, Barry can't really get too much close uh, to DeVoe at this stage. And we do see multiple shots in the trailer where uh, the, the mechanic, once again, I don't know if she's DeVoe's wife or not. I'm just going to call the mechanic at this stage, you know, not being the biggest fan of Barry and even slapping him at one stage. And that was one hell of a slap. Like I felt that. But I guess the sideline story for this episode, which will sort of be affected by Barry's actions about him being obsessed with DeVoe um, from not only this episode, but I'm guessing the episodes to follow, but the direct consequence of that is the preparation for the the wedding that's going to be in the crossover between Iris and Barry, otherwise labeled the West Allen wedding. So I'm not too sure like what the massive preparations are, like the final touches. I'm assuming it's going to be like Iris figuring out who's going to be coming because the wedding is the setup for the crossover. Like that's what's bringing these people together. Like I'm pretty sure Supergirl's going to be on Earth 1 at that stage when Earth X attacks. And then I guess some of the legends as well, like uh, Brandon Routh, who plays Ray, Ray Palmer, did say that some of the legends would be invited to the wedding. He said his character wasn't one of them. So I'm assuming like it's going to be Sarah, maybe Martin Stein. We'll have to wait and see in regards to that. But I'm assuming it's going to be all around that, but just like panicking, which we did see sort of in episode three, I think it was when like Iris like panicked and took Barry to that church when that funeral was going on just to try and get wedded because she was scared that it was actually never going to happen. So I'm assuming it's going to be like final panic stages and stuff like that, which I guess will be okay. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'd rather just the whole episode be DeVoe, but because the wedding is the next episode, I understand why they have to set it up. It would just be random like, oh, all of a sudden the wedding's happening. Like they have to do some setup for it. Obviously in episode five, we had the Bucks party and the hen's night. And in episode seven, we're going to have the setup for the actual wedding in episode eight. 
So it's finally happening. If you're a big West Allen fan, you're finally going to see them come together and become Iris West Allen. But thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show your support for not only the video, but the channel as a whole. Let me know in the comment section down below what you're looking forward to most in this uh, episode. What do you think is going on with DeVoe? Not only in the flashbacks, but also the present day, but mainly the flashbacks. Like, what do you think is specifically, go uh, specifically going on there? Do you think it's from the particle accelerator incident on Earth 1 way back in Season 1? Or do you think it's possibly something from another Earth? Just let me know what you think in the comments. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.